Rhyperior. You know, it should go without saying that the Rhyhorn line has been one of my absolute favorite line of generational Pokemon throughout the games, really, and Rhyperior stands to be one of my absolute favorite Pokemon as a whole. And uh, it turns out I actually drafted this 8 out of 10 times in leagues, and it isn't without reason. The Rhyhorn line has represented the absolute best of what a rock type can represent, and then to an extension, a ground type, which I do believe are more well diverse than a rock type combination. And this combination always made it not only relevant, but also very, very offensively active. This is a Pokemon that is extremely well balanced and represent a very, very keen niche in every meta it's been represented. And uh, yes, it has been rock types are offensively more capable, or speedier, or even more defensively more viable, but not doing everything at once, like the Rhyhorn line is doing. Rhydon is one of those Pokémon that uh, was really, really cool to see from you know, Generation One and upward. Just got very good, but due to the introduction of something like Hidden Power, it had a bit of um, a step back, as it were, Pokémon that could out of nowhere, outside of their original move pool, actually beat Rhydon. And that would keep going, and that meant then in generation 3 that it actually fell somewhat back. But Rhyperior was introduced, got the solid rock, all of a sudden, 25 reduction to super effective hits. And considering this Pokemon actually had a lot of weaknesses, which of course is inborn with the type combination, we talking about weaknesses like ground, Fighting, Ice, Steel, Grass, and Water, which are of course four times effective, but the relevance in its resistances and immunity really makes this Pokemon go quite a lot, as it does resist as a rock type should, Fire, Fly, Normal, and Rock, and uh, also resistance to the likes of Poison, and are immune actually to Electric, as it does represent a Ground type. I do recognize it's Ground type to make it immune or resistant to Rock, as Rock types are not resistant to other Rock types, how about that? But what did happen in generation 4? Well, Solid Rock, and all of a sudden, this Pokemon was UU. Yeah, it was relevant OU, but yeah, it stumbled in a way. But it did take quite some time. Even with Assault with generation 6, this kind of got a bit of a boost. But it wasn't until generation 8 and Hidden Power was no more that Rapperia really came to its own. Now, it stands as one other big niche before talking about the niche that I do care about. And that is in the 3 vs 3 Dynamax meta or the VGC also, as much like Tyranitar due to its plethora of weaknesses and solid rock, it is able to actually capitalize on weakness policy. It makes it one of the best tanky Pokemon there is in a trick room setting. Uh, well, you're just asking for it because its stats are just right out there as you know, one high special HP of 115, the attack at 140, which is pretty much top 20 Pokemon in the game. That is how hard that guy hits. 130 in defense, which means he can take absolute hits. And then special attack and special defense at 55. It's not going to do anything with that, but with combination of that high HP, uh, the special defense are kind of good for it, and which is why I got Assault Vest kind of works so well with it. And the speed at 40, yeah, it's on the low side. But he gets Curse, it gets Sword Stance, it gets Rock Polish. There are way for this Pokemon to negate some things, really, and even get Body Press this generation to capitalize on its. Phenomenal and outstanding defense of 130. I mean, come on, that's that is incredible and just <laughs> right up there, really. But yeah, the reason I want to capitalize this Pokemon and the reason I think they fixed him was because of Hidden Power is no more. While I do miss Hidden Power, as it does effectively make some months more unviable than others, I also have to well respect that I now can go with a Pokemon's full move pool and know whether or not they can hurt Rapiria really badly and there are so many Pokemon that will struggle with Rapiria this generation and it is actually UU this generation it is viable no you and it has a fair niche as it does take hits significantly better than it has before but yeah it's still on the slow side and still our matchup it does lose to but there are meta that are developing outside of this that's gonna be really interesting and we're looking at the likes of potential Volcarona, which forces potentially Rhyperior to carry Ground or the Rindoberry, but it can pull that off. But more looking to the Zapdos line, where Zapdos potentially can't hurt Rhyperior no more because of no Hidden Power Ice or Grass. It has to rely on its stab combination with thus nothing to Rhyperior. So we come full circle. From Generation 1, it was an absolute check to Zapdos to be kind of shaky. 
to losing it potentially all the way from Generation 8, but we are back at it, and right here is coming back to absolutely beat Sapthos. And looking at Thunderous, for example, here, yes, Thunderous does get a Lies of Grass Knot, but then again, Rindleberry is a very, very likely thing to happen, and all of a sudden, Thunderous may very well not be one of those electric types that can beat it either. Rhyperior comes out to be probably one of the best offensive and, quite frankly, defensive ground and rock types to be able to deal with high meta electric types, and that's uncanny. And we're looking even to Tapu Koko that very well now could be more offensively active with learning the likes potentially for the League of Home, close combat, and play rough. Well, if one of further base defense, that's not going to necessarily scare Rhyperior at all. So, Rhyperior are an absolute beast this generation, and what do you know, all it took was to get rid of Hidden Power, and all of a sudden, its defined counters and checks are now maybe checks at best. If anything, it is more defined which Pokemon it just absolutely beat, which was a risk before, you know, 50 50 games, depending on which Hidden Power they got. With Hidden Power gone, doesn't have to worry about that, and that turned this Pokemon to an absolute threat, and that is why I think they fixed him in Drainer J. So thank you, Pokemon, for fixing Rhyperior. Really couldn't have it another way. Love that guy. And to everyone, as always, take care.